All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing the precipitate lab. Uh, so have that open, please. There is actually a, a, a first page that you have to kind of go through. Um, so you might want to pause the video if you haven't done that and work through that. Uh, and then I'll be going through um, the part after the procedure. So uh, we're going to be doing things a little bit different here. Um, I'm going to be using test tubes instead of an overhead sheet. Um, and then really I'm just going to be combining uh, different substances together. Uh, and so basically these are going to be all double replacement reactions and we're going to be trying to determine um, if there's a precipitate. And then if there is, um, you know, you'll be writing those reactions um, and identifying which one the precipitate is. So it looks a little bit weird, but scroll past the procedure um, and you'll see a, 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 a chart. Um, that has the uh, ions and formulas of the substances I'm going to be um, mixing. And what I'd like you to do is um, in the chart, uh, you're just going to be writing down um, if there's a precipitate or not. And you might want to jot down maybe what color the precipitate looks like. Um, and that might be helpful. Okay. All right, let's get started. So the first one we're going to be looking for is we're going to be mixing um, sodium chloride uh, with uh, sodium carbonate. So I'm going to see if I can. So there's sodium carbonate. And here's sodium chloride. I'm going to mix those together. Just putting a couple drops in each test tube. Ooh, this one is tight on there. All right. And there we go. So no precipitate showing up in there. Okay, that's the first one. All right, second one. It's going to be going from left to right here. So I'm going to be using sodium carbonate with copper nitrate. So sodium carbonate, and here's copper nitrate. So copper nitrate's kind of a pretty blue. And for that one, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Of course, you don't really need to see me doing the. You don't need to see me doing the putting the drops in, but there's definitely a powder in there. Okay. All right, next one is going to be sodium carbonate with sodium phosphate. There's that one. Okay. All right, next up is sodium carbonate with zinc nitrate. Definitely a powder in there. OK. 
Okay. All right, next up is sodium carbonate with magnesium nitrate. Pretty obvious reaction there. All right, on to the next row. Okay, so the next row we're going to be working with uh, sodium chloride. All right, so sodium chloride, first thing we're going to be doing is uh, copper nitrate. There's the sodium chloride. Here comes the copper nitrate. There you go. Okay, next up, sodium chloride with sodium phosphate. There's that one. Okay, next up, sodium chloride with zinc nitrate. There's that one. And the last one is sodium chloride with magnesium nitrate. So there you go. All right. On to the next row. So next row we're going to be working with is copper nitrate, uh, specifically copper 2 nitrate. Okay, so first one is going to be copper 2 nitrate with sodium phosphate. So there's the copper nitrate. And here comes the sodium phosphate. Okay, next up, copper 2 nitrate with zinc nitrate. So there's the copper 2 nitrate. comes the zinc nitrate. Okay. All right, next up is copper 2 nitrate with magnesium nitrate. Mag 
the magnesium nitrate. There you go. Okay. All right, on to the last, not last row, sorry, second to last row. We're going to be working with sodium phosphate here. All right, sodium phosphate. There you go. There's the sodium phosphate. And first one we need to mix with is zinc nitrate. Okay, next up is going to be sodium phosphate plus magnesium nitrate. Oh, this one's, oh no, it's just, never mind. I thought that was a dirty test tube. It's just foggy. Okay, so there's the sodium phosphate. Okay, now we've got magnesium nitrate. Uh, that's this one. Okay. And last but not least, we've got zinc nitrate and magnesium nitrate. So zinc nitrate. And magnesium nitrate. There you go. And that concludes the observation part of this lab. So you'll now use those observations to finish up the analysis questions that follow the table. Good luck.